My name is Dr. Daphne Lashbrook, and I'd like to talk to you about the importance of breastfeeding. The American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology and the American Academy of Pediatrics highly recommends breastfeeding as the best form of nutrition for your new baby. There are some times that women cannot breastfeed, either for social issues or for medical problems. And if that occurs, we will support you and help you talk to your pediatrician about the best formula options available. But today I'd like to talk about the benefits of breastfeeding. Breastfeeding is very beneficial to the baby. It provides antibodies to help decrease the chance that your baby's going to get sick. And it also decreases the risk of asthma and obesity later in life. It makes babies less fussy and have less colic. And it decreases the risk of the baby dying of SIDS. There's also lots of benefits to you as the mother. The biggest one is that you get to bond closely with your baby while you're spending time breastfeeding. It's very cost effective because you don't have to buy formula. And it allows you good bonding time. It helps you lose weight and decreases their chance of ovarian cancer. Breastfeeding is recommended for the first year of the baby's life. The P American Academy of Pediatrics also recommends that you feed on demand and not on a schedule, which basically means don't keep track of the clock, but pay attention to when your baby acts hungry or is fussy or rooting looking for food. Breastfeeding is exhausting work, and it's very, but it's very rewarding. Sometimes you can't even remember which breast you fed from last time. And there are easy ways to make adjustments to this. There are products out there like wearing a bracelet and you change a bracelet every time you feed. It lets you know which breast you started on and which breast you should start the next time. important while you're breastfeeding. We recommend you get between 300 and 500 extra calories while you're breastfeeding than you did before you conceived. That's to help your body make enough nutrients to make adequate breast milk. We also recommend a lot of water while you're breastfeeding. Eight ounces of water every time you breastfeed. The best way to do that is before you sit down to breastfeed, get an eight ounce glass of water and set it next to you and just make sure you empty the glass before you get up from breastfeeding. Birth control options are different while you're breastfeeding than when you're not breastfeeding. We recommend that you do not use products that contain estrogen while you're breastfeeding or early on during that time because they can decrease the amount of milk you make. Your other options for contraception while breastfeeding include condoms, the mini pill, which is a progesterone only birth control pill that you can take, but you got to take it the same time every day or it's less effective. You can use Depo-Provera, which is a progesterone only shot. It's nice because it's convenient. You don't have to think about it other than coming into the office for a shot every 12 weeks. You could consider a Marina IUD, which is an intrauterine device. It's something that's placed in the uterus in an office procedure and that gives you highly effective birth control for up to five years but it can be removed before that if you desire to conceive before the five years is up. The last option would be a tubal ligation or vasectomy. Those are permanent forms of birth control that you can have done if you know you are completely done with childbearing. Norman Regional Hospital really promotes breastfeeding. They have lots of information on their hospital website and you can sign up for a breastfeeding class that you can take while you're pregnant so you'll be prepared once the baby comes. They have a lactation consultant on staff that sees every new mom after they deliver, and they're available to see you after you go home even if you have any problems. The nursery nurses are also available when you're, when, after you've had the baby and you're just starting to breastfeed to help you with any issues at each feeding if you need it. We highly support women that breastfeed. If you have any other questions or issues, please feel free to contact us.